Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Monday the 8th of January 2018. Uh, I had a bit of a lie-in today. I'm taking today, well I was planning to take today on recovering from two days, yes two days, two, two days of celebrating Orthodox Christmas. Um, they don't have two like Christmas days but uh, Badniadan, which is the uh, Orthodox equivalent, well in this part of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the Orthodox equivalent of Christmas Eve that I've been used to growing up with. So um, there's been a lot of food prep um, with Tam's family uh, in Banja Luka and Tam herself um, made one of the Christmas breads, it's called Chesnitsa. Um, and it's normally made without yeast, but um, this year Tam decided to do it with yeast. Uh, highly decorated, uh, very, very tasty. So, you know, there was a lot of effort going into that. This is a, a traditional Orthodox uh, Serbian Christmas bread. How do you make it? I make it, uh, usually you shouldn't be making with uh, yeast, but I like make it with the yeast. I change a little bit because it's easier and you put the coin in. For good luck? Yes, coin is for good luck. And then you twist it with the members of the family and then you rip it and who gets the coin? That's a lucky person. How long did it bake for? Uh, 170, 180 for 40 minutes. And then yesterday, which was Serbian Orthodox Christmas Day, uh, we went uh, into Banja Luka to take part in a traditional family Christmas lunch. Now, the Christmas lunch, I don't know how many courses it's long. Um, there's like a meze, then there's the polenta, then there's soup, sama, meat, and dessert things so maybe six courses could be seven but tons and tons of food honestly very very tasty all traditionally prepared all traditionally um, set out and started off by um, everybody getting together and taking this chestnitzer bread which has a coin for luck in it and it goes I think three times anti-clockwise three times clockwise and they break it open um, and whoever gets uh, the coin has luck for the rest of the year. I suppose it's a bit like what I was used to when I was a kid back in the UK. We used to put a coin in the Christmas put. Did you do that if you were from England or Britain or from uh, North America or Australia or New Zealand or somewhere like that? Yeah, maybe you did. Yeah, anyway, um, luckily with no corruption, and remember Bosnia and Herzegovina is full of that, um, Tam actually got the coin, so she's saving that. Uh, until next Christmas so that um, she has uh, a lot of luck. As I say, the food was like bountiful, huge amounts of it. Uh, so much so that I had to have a little doze after lunch. Okay, I'll admit to it. Um, but we're going back today for uh, round two, which won't be all traditional, but at least we've got to start eating some of the leftovers and we've given leftovers out to various members of the family. It's what you do. So yeah, I'm lucky enough to have two Christmases, as you most probably have seen when you're going back through the blog, uh, the podcast, uh, and earlier vlogs uh, on this channel. Now we sort of like do um, a British type of Christmas first, and then two weeks later, because the Gregorian calendar and the Julian calendar are, excuse me, 14 days out of sync, we do it all over again. So hope you enjoyed a little touch of um, Orthodox Christmas. Not a huge uh, vlog today. I didn't really feel comfortable, to be honest, poking the camera around while everybody was eating it. It just didn't seem right, but I managed to get a few shots anyway, especially of rakia being poured. That's lovely, right? Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share um, the vlogs and subscribe to the channel, if you will. And if you'd like to help support uh, an Englishman in the Balkans, uh, I've got a Patreon page. There's a link in the description um, below um, for one or two dollar donation a month. There's some nice giveaways on offer and the option for you to get to see all the content that I create early, so before it goes public. So if you'd like to check it out and subscribe, I mean, it's less than a coffee um, a week or a month. Um, it would be really, really appreciated. 
and I'm using all that money to plow back in to making these vlogs, blogs and podcasts a lot better. Okay, so until the next time, stay safe wherever you are.